guys welcome to another audio video and i'm reading second chronicles 2 of the king james version bible and it reads and solomon determined to build an house for the name of the lord and an house for his kingdom and solomon told out three score and ten thousand men to bear burdens and four score thousand to hew in the mountain and three thousand and six hundred to oversee them and solomon sent to huram the king of tyre saying as thou didst deal with david my father and didst send him cedars to build him an house to dwell therein even so deal with me behold i build an house to the name of the Lord my God, to dedicate it to him, and to burn before him sweet incense, and for the continual shoe bread, and for the burnt offerings morning and evening, on the Sabbaths, and on the new moons, and on the solemn feasts of the Lord our God. This is an ordinance for ever to Israel. And the house which I build is great, for great is our God above all gods. But who is able to build him an house, seeing the heaven and heaven of heavens cannot contain him? Who am I then, that I should build him an house, save only to burn sacrifice before him? Send me now therefore a man cunning to work in gold and in silver and in brass and in iron and in purple and crimson and blue, and that can skill to grave with the cunning men that are with me in judah and in jerusalem whom david my father did provide send me also cedar trees fir trees and algum trees out of lebanon for i know that thy servants can skill to cut timber in lebanon and behold my servants shall be with thy servants even to prepare me timber in abundance for the house which i am about to build shall be wonderful great and behold i will give to thy servants the hewers that cut timber twenty thousand measures of beaten wheat and twenty thousand measures of barley and twenty thousand baths of wine and twenty thousand baths of oil then huram the king of tyre answered in writing which he sent to solomon because the lord hath loved this people his, he hath made thee king over them. Horam said moreover, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, that made heaven and earth, who hath given to David the king a wise son, endued with prudence and understanding, that might build an house for the Lord, and an house for his kingdom. And now I have sent a cunning man endued with understanding of Horam my father's the son of a woman, of the daughters of Dan, and his father was a man of Tyre, skillful to work in gold and in silver, in brass, in iron, in stone, and in timber, in purple, in blue, and in fine linen, and in crimson, also to grave any manner of graving, and to find out every device which shall be put to him with thy cunning men, and with the cunning men of my lord David thy father. Now therefore the wheat, the wheat, and the barley, the oil, and the wine, which my Lord hath spoken of, let him send unto his servants, and we will cut wood out of Lebanon as much as thou shalt need, shalt need and, will bring, and we will bring it to thee in floats by sea to Joppa, and thou shalt carry it up to Jerusalem. And Solomon numbered all the strangers that were in the land of Israel after the numbering wherewith David his father had numbered them, and they were found an hundred and fifty thousand and three thousand and six hundred. And he set threescore and ten thousand of them to be bearers of burdens, and fourscore thousand to be hewers in the mountain, and three thousand and six hundred overseers to set the people a work. All right, guys, so we see where everything was basically coming together here. Okay, so everything is being explained in detail, in more detail within this chapter, how Solomon went ahead to start the house of the Lord, making the house of the Lord, and how he inquired of 
the king of Tyre to assist him in getting certain things and getting a man that was actually very skilled in every craft known okay and this just goes to show that we need to build relationships because if you realize when he sent to the king of Tyre he had said to him that Huram he had said to him that he he should deal with him as he dealt with his father and so guys the reputation of your parents precede themselves and will pass on to you the favors the bad blood that they have built everything that will all come to you and so guys parents you should always that's why i keep saying it be careful of the choices that you make be careful of the things that you do because they don't only impact you they impact your children they impact your families they impact other people around you close loved ones friends relatives there's an impact okay everything has a ripple effect okay and so we should always seek to do good by others and gain good standing with everyone around us well you won't be able to gain good standing with everyone i'm being honest here because people will see you and not like you for no particular reason and that's just the nature of humans at times <laughs> look at look at abel abel and cain cain did not abel did nothing to cain but cain held abel in his heart and hated him because the lord favored Abel so that will happen at times but we should try to be the best versions of ourselves we can be and walk in God way okay all right guys so remember to continue walking in your salvation and if you've not yet gained it then seek it there's no better time to begin than the present have yourselves a blessed day bye